Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Heather again. So today's club lesson is going to be on electricity. But before we get started there, let's start with our newsletter. The holiday season is almost here. And here's what's going to be going on in Monroe County 4-H. Operation Christmas Child Shoeboxes. Tis a season for giving. Join us as we participate in Samaritan's Purse Operation Christmas Child Shoeboxes. Monroe County Extension Office is a drop-off location for a gift-filled shoebox. Donations accepted through November 13th. For more information, call our office at 478-994-7014. Parents Night Out. Do your parents need a date night or some free time to get some holiday shopping done while not having to worry about who's going to watch the kids? If this is your parents, be sure to let them know that they are invited to our Parents Night Out on December the 4th from 6 to 9 p.m. They can enjoy their evening night out while the children enjoy an evening of crafts, holiday movies, and dinner and dessert. The cost is $10 for ages 4 and up. They can reserve their spot by calling the 4-H office at 478-994-7014 by November the 27th. Christmas Under the Stars Come celebrate the holiday season with us as we enjoy a night of Christmas family fun under the stars. Join us for Christmas movies, carols, and some sweet treats. For more information and to reserve your spot, call our office by December the 11th. See you next year! Due to the holiday break, there will be no December meetings, so this will be the last time you hear from me until January 2021. The Monroe County staff would like to wish all the teachers and 4-H'ers a very happy holiday season. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Monroe County Georgia 4-H so you can stay up to date on the many activities during the holidays. And this month's spotlight goes to our Cotton Bowl and Consumer Judging Teams. We are all so very proud of all your hard work and dedication. Now we'll get started on our club meeting. Electricity. Did you know that everything is made up of atoms? Atoms are the basic units of matter and the defining structure of elements. The term atom comes from the Greek word of, for indivisible because it was once thought that atoms were the smallest things in the universe and could not be divided. We now know that atoms are made up of three particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons are heavier than electrons and they reside in the nucleus in the center of the atom. The electrons are extremely lightweight and exist in the cloud that orbits the nucleus. So in your picture, you'll see that your nucleus, which is colored that pretty little blue color, is located in the center. Your protons, they're heavier and they reside there too. Your electrons, they're lightweight, so they're just out orbiting around this nucleus. And this is an atom diagram. You'll notice that the nucleus contains protons and neutrons and they're held tightly together forming the center of the atom like the sun in the center of the solar system. Electrons, they move very fast and around the nucleus just like planets orbit the sun. The nucleus is very tiny and its electrons are quite far away from it. Most of the atom is actually empty space. Electricity is the movement of electrons. Electron flow. Have you ever noticed that a battery has a positive and a negative side? Well, the negative side is where your electrons are going to flow. So a battery pushes electrons out one end and pulls them back into the other end. This only happens when the electrons are given a path of travel. A circuit is a path in which electrons flow. The word circuit comes from the word circle. 
This is an example of an open circuit. When a switch is open and the electrons do not have a complete path to follow, an appliance cannot do its work. When you look at the top of your illustration, you will notice that there is a broken wire and this stops the electrons from completing its circuit. A closed circuit is when a switch is closed and the electrons have a complete path. The appliance will work. As you notice, the wire is connected and the light bulb lights. Conductors, materials that allow electrons to flow. Insulators, materials that do not allow electrons to flow. Let's put it to the test. Our next slide will have some examples and you tell me whether it's a conductor or an insulator.